Hey guys, Motocon out here, and today we're going to be addressing an issue if you have a drivetrain on your BMW, uh, late model 2012, and up all-wheel drive, X-Drive models, and if you get a shake or vibration or the car just doesn't go, it's stuck, you're stranded, it could be as simple as this rubber flex plate right here, okay? This connects the drive shaft to the transmission or the drive shaft to the rear end. And it has a rubber mount to make, you know, the smooth transi transition uh, and to make the car very enjoyable to drive. That's probably why you drive a BMW. Um, but these things fail. As if you see right here, you see this? You see all those cracks? Not, that's not a crack, actually. This is right here. And right here, you see this big thing? Now, if that cracks anymore and rips off, you're not going to have any, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be stranded. All right, now I'm going to show you how to replace those. And this could be for the X, the X series models too. Maybe just a little bit different or the configuration of the uh, exhaust and things like that. But to get that, unfortunately, you have to take the exhaust down. And you have to take the exhaust heat shield down. All right, so now this is a 2013 BMW X uh, 528i X-Drive. And I got the, the uh, exhaust hanging, but the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the exhaust down. Now you have over here is a, a, a 14 millimeter nut that goes right here, okay? Now before you take that out, you're gonna have a vacuum line right here, and that vacuum line is right there, this one, okay? So you take that off first, then on the side over here, you're gonna have another mount, you unscrew that, that's a Torx, an inverted Torx, that's the female, it goes here, and then I'll show you what size that is, and then over here, there's gonna be Right there, this nut right here, that's, a, that's an 18 millimeter nut that holds on this bracket, okay? And then, after that, you're gonna come to the front, and over here, where it meets to the catalytic converter, there's gonna be a clamp here. If you have the big factor one, it's gonna be a fat clamp here, it's gonna be a I think it's a 12 or a 13 millimeter. You take that off so this can slide out. Because you're going to have to take the exhaust out. Okay? And let me see what that uh, that inverted torque size was. It's an E, an E10. Okay? It looks like that. If you're on the ground and you're jacking the back of the car up, you may be able to just drop it and then drop the heat shield and you can get to the back one. But the front one, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get to. But it does have, it, it is a flex pipe over here. It is flexible, so it may drop down enough that you can get to the one over here. You see that one? But this may be in the way, or you just, just take it out. It's just easier. I like to take things out and make it easier, you know. If it's, especially if it's only one more button, you just slide it out. And be careful, that exhaust is heavy. I'm gonna take it out and then we'll continue. Okay, let me back up one more step. You have to take this bracket off um, before you take the exhaust down. It has um, 13 millimeter bolts. I don't know, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 maybe. That goes, that goes across right here. It goes across here to here as a support. Take that down. Then remove the exhaust. So after you get the drive share, drive, I mean the exhaust out of the way, you're gonna take off these um, eight millimeter screws all over here. And on this one too, they're all over the place. Just take them all out of the way so you can expose the drive shaft. Oh, we got it exposed. Let's look. You see these cracks here? Let me get in here. Well, anyhow, you can see it. 
You see that? That's getting ready to rip right out. So take it out. This is an E12 inverted Torx, and this is 18 millimeter. So right now, um, I can take the, uh, you could take either one off, but you gotta take both off. You understand? To get the drive shaft out, you might as well just take the uh, E12s out, all three on, on three sides. So now, once you have them loose, um, you can't really take off the um, the flex the flex disc over here, this rubber disc, uh, unless you take off these mat these uh, bolts. And I'm not gonna take them off, but you have to take them off uh, to get it off because I'm just showing you how to do it because I'm going further, I'm pulling out this engine. So um, the center support over here, that looks like those are 13 or 14 millimeter bolts right here. You just take those two out, let it hang down, okay? And then when you get to the front, over here, it's basically the same thing. They're all 18 millimeter. You just take off, you know, you can take off these three. If you can get the other one, you want to turn this. I have a video on how to put this car into neutral. It's not easy. Uh, if, 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 if the car is not working, if it's working, then you know how to put it in neutral. Um, but I got a video on that, how to do it. You, there's, a mechanical, there's a mechanical lever over here that you have to push up. All right, so. I can get to these three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them off. I'll take the drive shaft out and show you what it looks like. Okay, the center support bearing over here, these were 13 millimeter bolts, okay? And see this one, I took this one out like that with this, and there's your uh, flex plate right there, your little flex disc, okay? This one doesn't look that bad, but if you're taking the drive shaft out, you might as well replace both of them. And all you do is just take these 18 millimeters out, you take it out, you put the new one in, and the same on the other side, I, I left it in, but I'll take it out later. Let me show you. Oh. Okay. And that's the same thing over here. You just take these out, the, T uh, the E12s. This comes right out. You put a fresh one in there. And you just reverse the procedure. Okay, you, you do that one. See, that's what it looks over there. Okay, and when you take the drive shift out, you could mark it if you want, if it, make, if it makes you feel better, but everything is balanced. Transmission's balanced, the output shafts are balanced, the drive shift's balanced, so it doesn't really matter, but some people, and I like to do it sometimes, just whatever I took off, I like to put back where it belongs, but you think about it with the, the, the clutch, the uh, flex disc, you're getting a new one, so there is no marking on a new one, so it really doesn't make my, uh, any difference because that's balanced as well. Okay, but if you like to balance them, mark the drive shaft, mark it before you take it off. All right, and then you reverse the procedure, and you're good to go. I'm gonna stop it here because I'm taking, I'm pulling the engine, so I'm dropping the tranny, and all that good stuff. So that's it for this. Any questions? Uh, if I left something out, uh, give me your uh, uh, reply. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and leave questions below pertaining to the video. And I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.